You're lapping slower than your teammate. Your teammate is faster. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Norris, Moore and Pierre Gasly. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. The crowd out there, which can only mean one thing. Race day is upon us. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and Moore completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas and Leclerc, Stroll, Perez, Matsushita and George Russell, Ricardo, Ocon, Antonio Giovinazzi and Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Vettel, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher and Yuki Tsunoda. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Only three races left. You still have a chance at the title, but we're going to need some special performances. See what you can do. resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now.
boys! Yes! Come on, boys! Awesome driving today. That's four race wins in a row. That's a fantastic performance from Ferrari. It hardly looked in doubt. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.